this is Andal. And Andal is a technology that was built to help, to help you focus, relax, and sleep. The reason we did that is quite obvious. I mean, I don't have to explain this to you. I'm just going to throw some stats that kind of support that, right? So according to a joint study by UCLA and Humboldt University, you're losing about 86 minutes a day due to distractions. And actually about 85% of people are dissatisfied with their working environment and they can't concentrate. On average, you're interrupted every three minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can relate to that, right? But the worst part of it is that it takes you 23 minutes to regain your focus and after you've been interrupted. Also some scary stats on the fact that about two-thirds of adult populations across all developed nations are failing to get seven to eight hours of sleep. So what I think all of this means is as species, we're simply not evolving fast enough. Like our bodies are not coping with the demand of the world that we're living in currently. They're, they're, they're same old vessels that they were like 500 years ago. And the worst part is that the way we're tackling this problem, I think, is very old school. Uh, I love this quote, I'm not going to read it to you, but I'm going to say that I think we're using this, we have this amazing, smart, sophisticated devices that know so much and can do so much, and what we're doing with them is we're delivering methods and you know, practices that are thousands of years old, right? And before you start throwing rocks at me, I mean, I'm obviously talking about mindfulness meditation. Like, I've been to four vipassanas, right? Like, I've spent 10 days in silence, meditated, and I'm a big believer in the benefits of mindfulness meditation. But what I think is happening is I think meditation is simply not enough. I think it doesn't work for everyone, and I think that's not the only solution of how we're trying to, you know, solve this problem. So what I think the solution is, is sound. I think sound is super powerful and it's the easiest way to control your environment. That's why we've started working with sound. So what we have built is we have built the technology that generates personalized adaptive sound environments that are designed to help you focus faster, stay in the zone for longer periods of time, and relax and sleep better. We do that by plugging a number of inputs into our algorithm, like the time of day, the weather, your heart rate, your movement, even your calendar appointments. And we generate in real time a soundscape that helps you, you know, focus, relax, and sleep. There's two scientific pillars behind Andal. One is the science of the circadian rhythms. Like, uh, again, I don't have to explain this to you, so yeah, we all have that internal clock within our bodies that regulates the phases through which we're going throughout the day, right? So the way we work with that is we detect your location, and from your location we understand where you are, the amount of light you're exposed to, when the sun rises and sets where you are, and we adapt our soundscapes accordingly. And then obviously the second scientific pillar is the neuroscience of how certain frequencies, scales, and tones influence your cognitive state. Now, we did not invent that science. Thankfully, there's a lot of research that talks about that. We just plug into the body of research and pick what works best for us. For example, we're using pentatonic scale, which is known to be very easily processed by the brain and is found in the majority of traditional music throughout the world. Or we're using an approach called sound masking, which allows us to tune out certain harsh and distracting sounds by using what is called colored noises pink noise, white noise, brown noise, things like that. Did you know there's brown noise, actually? <laughs> there is. So again, what sets us apart from everybody else is that this is real-time, on the spot, on the device, personalized to you. So like your hardware changes, we react to that. The weather changes, we react to that soundscape adapts in real-time. That photo is here, like I love to demonstrate that photo, not just to show off. <laughs> Uh, but to explain that we're not just a bunch of engineers in the room. We're actually a collective of artists, scientists, designers, musicians. Like, we're not tech bros, as we have been called by, by like, some press. For example, this is Dimitri. He's our um, composer, and he holds a degree in sound design and sound engineering, and he's an established neoclassical composer. Like, he has a lot of albums released on major labels, just, you know, millions of followers on Spotify. 
This is Prote, he's our art director, and he's actually an established contemporary artist, you know, with his shows have been shown all over the world, like he just did a collaboration, a capsule collection with Comme des Garçons. So with that technology and with that team, we have built an app version of Endel, really just to see, you know, if people are going to be using that, if they are prepared to pay for that, how are they to measure how they're going to be using that, and we did that actually almost, yeah, exactly one year ago. And what happened is it just took off. Like, so currently we just hit 100,000 downloads a month's mark, like there's tens of thousands of people that are paying for the product daily. Apple very quickly took notice and it just got, got behind that product. And what's happening now is people who are paying for Endel every day and are using that every day, our average session length is actually about an hour a day. And, those, and people are doing that about one to two sessions a day. So the reason this is happening is because there's two pockets of listening time that we are capturing that are traditionally not reserved for audio content. This is when you go to work, and this is when you go to sleep. And this is when people are listening to that. And Endel, again, it's not music in a way that it's not designed to be consciously listened to. It's just this soundscape that you know, plays in the background and adapts to whatever is happening in your life. And after that, this thing happened. You might have heard about that. So while we've been working on an app and in the technology, Warner Music approached us. And they were like, hey, we want to distribute you know, the stuff that you guys generate on Spotify, Apple Music, like all of those DSPs. And we were like, it kind of contradicts the point of what we're trying to do here, because the whole point is that it's real time and adaptive, right? And this would need to be pre-recorded. They were like, yeah, yeah, but can you still do that, though? <laughs> we're like. You know what? We can. So we literally clicked the button, the algorithm spat out 20 albums, we created cover artworks, like we gave it to Warner, and if you go to like Spotify or Apple Music and all of those platforms, there's 20 albums by Andal, the artist, that are, that are distributed by Warner Music. And that deal got covered a lot, and that, this happened this March, so the craziest months of my life. My, literally, my cell phone just melted, because I've been having calls from all of these all of these people, and while Warner was calling me saying, like, make it stop, uh, because what the press was saying is, like, the end is nigh, an algorithm just signed a deal with the major music label, and, like, ne Drake's next album is going to be generated by an algorithm. We're like, it's not, like, it's, it's not what we're trying to do here. That's not the whole point. <laughs> the whole point is that it's real-time and adaptive, and it's actually not designed to be consciously listened to. Be but after that deal, we got approached by Coca-Cola, and Coca-Cola, <laughs> yeah, and so, uh, specifically Smart Water, and Smart Water came to us and they were like, hey, we want to, you know, do a campaign around wellness and around hydration, do you guys want to collaborate with us? And we did, because as a part of this collaboration, what happened is we went into a studio with some established artists, like Impressoft, No Such Thing, Thoreau Moi, like those kind of people, and they have recorded quote-unquote traditional songs, which Coca-Cola then used in their marketing campaign. And we took the stems from those songs, fed them into the algorithm, and the soundscape that you have, on our, that you can listen to on our website, because we went live on web, and Smart Water sponsored that, they are powered not by our composer, but by other people's stems, by other people's sounds, samples. So what I think we're going to do next is, when my dream is to collaborate with an artist that is like big enough, and we can, like imagine if there is, let's say next Coldplay album comes out, and it exists in a physical form and a digital form, and it's perfectly fine, you love Coldplay, you go and listen to that, but what if there is also on the back of it an adaptive, personalized, functional, perpetual version of that album? This is what we can do Almost like a sub-product of what we can do, actually. You know, because it's not what we're going for. So here's what's happening with this company now. We're already live on Android, iOS, Alexa. We just went live on Apple Watch. So we, we literally generate soundscapes on your wrist right now, uh, adapted to heart rate. We're going live on desktop, smart TV, all of these other voice assistants. Once we do that, we're going to start doing what I call input sharing. So. Like, what, we, what this means is we would grab your input, like say your heart rate on your Apple Watch or your like, Samsung Watch, we would send it into the cloud, and this would then influence the output on all of these other devices. Because what happens is, huh? yeah, 
Because what happens is, like, if you would launch Handle on Alexa, Alexa has no way of knowing your heart rate, but your smartwatch does. And it goes for your calendar and other inputs as well. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to gather that information and bridge that gap and have all of these otherwise individual devices talk to each other. And this is what I think is missing in the situation around us currently. Once we do that, and what we're building, basically, is we're building this, basically, tech-aided bodily function, right? Like your breath, it, it just automatically adapts to whatever is happening in your life, right? So you don't have to control that. That's what we're trying to do with Endel. We're building this additional function, that additional protective layer around you that would adapt and help you, you know, be fully present and focused and relaxed during the day without you having to do anything. That's Endel. It's a tech-aided bodily function. That's what we're building. And almost like a sub-product of that, I think also what I think is currently missing is a popular, like, perfectly executed circadian rhythm guide, right? Like, people need to be more aware of the phases through which they're going throughout the day. And we will help, we will help them compensate for those energy drops with our soundscapes, but wouldn't it be nice if, you know, like, you get a, a calendar appointment and somebody would tell you that, hey, actually your energy is going to be like you're going to be at like an ultimate low throughout the day. Why don't you push that half an hour further? You will just perform better. This is what we're building right now. Because when we build that, we will realize the big vision for this company, which is to ultimately move beyond sound. We will integrate Endel with smart light and temperature system, and we already have prototyped that to create a multi-sensory experience. Because the ultimate vision for that is you come back home after a long day, and our algorithm knows that you just had 10 meetings, knows that you've been stuck in traffic, knows that your heart rate is this, and it dims the lights, it changes the temperature, and obviously creates a soundscape. There's also a visual component to that. It create, generates this visual component as well. Basically re-engineers the whole environment around you automatically based on the context of your day. That's what we're building. And we're doing that to turn this into this. Because I think what this means and what this represents is you being more present, more focused, more involved in whatever is happening in your life. And this is spiritual evolution. This is what we're going for. Thank you. <laughs>